Hello, welcome to my YouTube channel. I hope you're doing well wherever you are. My well wishes are with you. May you live long, healthy, and safe life. This tutorial is in continuation of the series that I launched about the Morningstar Data Analysis Premium. In the first tutorial, we have discussed the access option for Morningstar Data Analysis Premium, and I have given you the quick overview of various tabs that you can also see here. In this tutorial, you will learn how to use the company reports tab to download the data for the company you are analyzing for your investment, for your research, or for your assignment in the subject that you are studying in your university. So let's get started. I'm going to click on this company reports tab. Here you can see what the company report provides. It provides a comprehensive history of all the companies listed on Australian Securities Exchange, additional full reports available for delisted companies since 1989. These reports are updated daily from annual reports and ASX announcements. Company report sections include corporate details, business summary, substantial shareholders and directors' trades, 10 years of financial data, individual directors' resumes, operational history, all ASX announcements in PDF, share price history and market data, dividend history, and finally, two-page company summary. If I click on this two-page company summary, for all the ASX-listed companies, you can find this two-page summary. For example, this summary is about the Billabong International Limited. On the first page, you, key, you see the uh, quick highlights, and on the second page, it gives investment detail disclosures. I encourage you to pick one or two companies and try to understand how this two-page company summary is designed by the Morningstar Data Analysis Premium. For this tutorial, I will pick a BHP Group Limited to demonstrate the company report. You can write here the ticker or the full company name or the part of the company name, whatever you know, and then you click search and all the companies where BHP is appearing, it will show in our search results. The first BHP, BHP Group Limited, it's trading. It has details about previous names. That's the company I'm interested in. I'll click on it. So now I am into the main interface about the company reports. On the left-hand side, you see the navigation table. Currently, I'm on the corporate detail page, and you can see the corporate details here. This section here gives the uh, basic information about the company. This section will remain the same even if I move to the next tab, business summary, you see now I'm on the business summary, but the first section, it remains the same. So it is the constant section, whereas wherever I will click here, will determine what should be appearing in the interface. Now let's navigate through some of these tabs to understand what uh, data is available about BHP under this company report section of the Morningstar Data Analysis Premium. If we click on business summary, then directors and management. So director management, committees, director trades, directors profiles, directors remunerations. So that data is available. Company history and listing details, so that's available. Operational history is available. And this section also provide uh, various drop-down options and the search criteria as well. Takeovers, issued capital, under it, we have the capital table, capital history with some search functions, capital history pre-1999. Corporate actions, bonus issues, call payables, call issues, company reconstructions. Then we have a price history. Price history, there are some filters which can be applied, unadjusted, adjusted prices. The price chart is available and the market sensitive announcements. On these red, if you bring the cursor, it shows what happened on this particular day to get more understanding. And you can also download this announcement in the PDF format. Key data, which includes some price data points, the beta of a company, total shareholder returns, dividend history, you can get that data. Shareholder information, the substantial shareholders, who are they? Top 20 shareholders for the past couple of years, 2022, 2023. Distribution of shareholders for the past few years. Okay, 
controlled entities that information is available segment performance annual report for each segment where bhp is operating in terms of industry in terms of geography and interim reports are also available for the segment based performance financial data the profit and loss income statement the balance sheet the cash flow statement part share stats there's some ratios on a part share basis that are available revenue slash expenses the data is available sundry analysis growth rates and ratios profitability asset management ratios debt and safety cash flow ratio marking data valuation multiples they have been already calculated for your ease and you can also select the the period for which you want to get these ratios and click go then this table will be updated automatically and you can choose between annual to interim whatever suits your analysis then the asx announcements in the pdf format uh, pre june 2003 which is accessed through signal g and the market sensitive announcement charts finally the annual reports um, in the past they are available you want to click all you can now see all the annual reports for BHP Group Limited. And you can download it if you want to read it. Okay, so these are the different tabs that you can navigate through in the company report section. There are a few important things that I want to show it to you. You see here the print slash download, the company summary full report. If you click on this print slash download, it will print and download the section which you are currently viewing. So we were viewing the corporate details. So it has printed and downloaded the corporate details section. If I go to operational history and click on print slash download, so the operational history section is printed and downloaded for me. So in short, whichever section of the report you are in, if you click on print download, that section will be downloaded. This company summary is basically the two page summary which you can download for each and every company. So this is BHP Group Limited, the first page, and then the second page provide the uh, details about the data used in this report. Finally, the full report, if you click on it, it will basically download the, the report which contains all these sections. If I scroll down, you can see all the sections which we could see on the left-hand side of the Morningstar Data Analysis Premium. They have been downloaded in one full report. Okay, so you can print it and read it if you are analyzing this company for your investment, for your research, or for your assignment in any subject. Another thing that you will notice when you navigate through these sections, there may be some question marks available. For example, beside this market cap, which will give you the description of this market cap, which Morningstar is using. Another here, total shares quoted, last close, and show data definitions in this corporate detail section. If you click on it, it will show all the definitions of the data used in the corporate details okay so if you go to the business summary you may see the question mark here directors and management see some question mark here and you also see show data definitions if you click on it all the data definitions used in this section have been displayed let's go to some other tabs key data there's a question mark here you can read about this beta here total shareholder return, you can read about that. Another thing is to download the data in Excel file. It will depend on different section, wherever the Excel file is available, you can download it. In particular, the financial data. If you click on that, you see the download spreadsheet. If you click on it, the Excel spreadsheet will be downloaded. If I open this Excel, you can see in one click, all the past 10 years from 2014 to 2024, the financial data have been downloaded. It has income statement, the balance sheet, the cash flow, partial statistics, revenue, sundry analysis, and all. Okay, so whatever you see here, all the tabs, 
in one click, I was able to download it in Excel. I remember when I did an assignment on financial statement analysis way back in early 2000, when I was doing um, Bachelor of Business Administration from Pakistan, I had to go to the stock market to get the hard copy of the five years of the annual reports of a particular company. I could not take those annual reports at home. I was given a permission to print the financial statements from those annual reports. I went to the photocopy machine, printed all those papers, and returned the annual reports to the Stock Exchange Administration. Then I came back, I added all the numbers into the Excel, and then created the ratios and did my analysis. However, now you can see with this Morningstar Data Analysis Premium, all the financial data is available in the system. Ratios have been calculated. You just download and spend all your energy and efforts on the analysis and the interpretations of the results. That is it about this tutorial. I hope you find it informative. Now you can practice it for a company of your choice and let me know in the comments below. If you have any questions that require further guidance, I'll be happy to respond to your questions and provide you further assistance. Stay tuned for future tutorials where I will be focusing on the search tools here, report tool, takeovers, and the other tabs available in the data analysis premium. Thank you so much for your listening. I'll see you in my future tutorials. Till then, take care and have a very good day.